All right, so this is what's up. The presidential debate for the Republicans went down again, part two. We're gonna get into what actually happened because there was a lot of things that we didn't need to see and a lot that we did. But if you're new to the channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and follow us on this journey. Also, if you wanna see any original videos or articles connected to the information that I'm gonna be referencing, make sure that you follow me on Twitter. Tap into that Twitter account because I will be referencing those things in this video. Without further ado, so the GOP's second debate went down. Fox News hosted it. To be honest, it seemed like MSNBC was hosting it because it was a lot of questions that were like, not what you would expect from Fox News. Nevertheless, it was a little bit eventful. We saw most of the candidates do nothing to hurt themselves, but notably, the governor for the Dakotas, I think is South Dakota, I could be wrong, maybe North Dakota. Anyway, he doesn't have a chance, but I think he did a lot to help himself. This debate, to be honest, was more like a VP type of debate, but it was a presidential debate. Now, the front runner, President Trump, wasn't in the debate. He wasn't even in the vicinity, but he was referenced a lot by Chris Christie. Chris Christie definitely keeps promoting Donald Trump and it's only helping Donald Trump in the polls and hurting Chris Crispy. Chris Christie, that's his name, in the polls. Anyway, so what else happened? Um, everybody else, like I said, they did nothing to hurt themselves. What was very notable though, if you haven't seen my earlier video about Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom was at the debate and he actually in my opinion, stole the show. Governor, what do you think is going to be the takeaway after this debate from the American people? I think it will be clear that Trump comes out the dominant force after this debate. I mean, this is the XFL. This is JV. I mean, and honestly, I mean, this is maybe, maybe a vice presidential debate. These guys are getting lapped by Donald Trump. It's not even close. It's not even interesting. And I think what's most interesting to me is, do they recognize that? Or are they actually going to show up and run against the guy that's in the way of their prospects to be the nominee? It's a zero-sum game. It's a binary choice at the end of the day. It's not a ranked choice voting. So either these guys come after the front runner and distinguish themselves, or otherwise they're wasting everybody's time. And I say this with love and respect. There's a reason some of the advertising is being discounted for this debate. People don't even want to tune in because they know that fundamentally. No, I don't Well, after hearing that, you already know what time it is. From my earlier video, I told you Gavin Newsom is that guy. All right, he's well-spoken, he has the charisma, and to be honest with you, people gonna vote for him just for his appearance. You know, he's fit, or he at least looks to be fit. He has a full head of hair. You know, he got these good looks that people are probably gonna vote for him just on that. But I will say this, the guy in the state of California Everything that he's done, don't do it, people. I'm going to tell you like this. This guy is probably going to get into the office, if you allow him, and only use you for your vote. Now, he's not officially in the race at this point, but I will say that before you know it, he more than likely will be on the ballot, especially if we run into some more of these cognitive issues that we've been seeing with President Biden. President Biden is that guy. Everybody is saying rally behind him. But as you can tell, his base is kind of losing interest. And Kamala Harris, who's supposed to be next up, they have been very cautious about how they're going to tackle that monster. They really don't want to say we don't want her. But then again, you know what? They need them black votes. They need the minority votes. They need all of those female votes. So they've been very cautious on how they do that. So if you haven't seen my earlier video regarding Gavin Newsom and my opinion about what's going to happen with him, you definitely want to follow or you definitely want to watch that video. Nevertheless, he came there. He sat down with Hannity. OK, when he sat down with Hannity is showing and this is not even his first time showing that he's willing to sit down with anybody and support the Democratic basis issues or at least champion them. On top of that, have we seen Camilla? or any other Democrat who has a chance to do that? Exactly. But the GOP debate, like I said, Gavin Newsom said it best. That man say it's JV. He actually threw shade on the 
XFL. <laughs> that man say this is the S the XFL. That's sad because that really shows you exactly what they're working with. Nevertheless, before we cut out, you will be seeing a debate between Ron DeSantis and Governor Gavin Newsom. Now they say they're going to be talking about issues and comparing what's going down and what has been done in Florida for, for DeSantis and California for Newsom. Well, why would Ron DeSantis want to do something like that? Like, aren't you running for president? Why are you trying to debate somebody who gives the allure that he's running for president, but yet he isn't? Like I say, DeSantis knows what's up. He knows from the little birdies that's on his shoulder that Gavin Newsom is probably going to be that guy who's going to be the front runner at some point for the Democratic Party. But as far as this Republican debate, ah, it is what it is. Get in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Like the video. Share the video. And stay tapped into the channel by hitting that notification bell. That way you're alerted on every time new content is pushed out on this channel. And it's done so quite frequently. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel by now, what are you doing? Hit that sub button. Catch you on the next one.